Once the skin of the face and the anterior half of the scalp have been removed, concentrate first on the fairly superficial muscles that act on the mouth, eyes, and forehead. These are the mentalis, the orbicularis oris, the depressor labii inferioris, the depressor anguilioris, the labii superioris aliquinesi, and the orbicularis oculi. Both its orbital and palpebral parts. And the frontal belly of the occipitofrontalis or epicranius muscle. Peel one of the scalp flaps toward the orbit and note that the scalping plane beneath the frontalis extends into the eyelid. If possible, identify some of the deeper muscles which will require removal of the buccal fat pad. Be careful to avoid damage to the facial artery. These muscles include the rhizorius, the zygomaticus major and minor muscles with fibers running toward the zygomatic bone and the nasalis muscle. On the forehead, look for the vertical fibers of the procerus muscle and the laterally oriented fibers of the corrugator supercilii. 